From her troubled past to her progressive movements, this is the shocking story of Pamela Anderson. Number 13, Canadian. This one might seem like a no-brainer, but it could shock many United States Pam Anderson fans to find out that she's not from America. This model and actress was born in Ladysmith, British Columbia, Canada in July 1967. The running trend seems to be that U.S. favorites are from Canada. Drake, Justin Bieber, Ryan Gosling, Jim Carrey, the list goes on and on. But Pam Anderson is certainly the most well-known blonde bombshell from the country. Nevertheless, she is a citizen of America and her home nation and is currently residing in southern France. Number 12. Troubled Childhood Although her career has been filled with lots of glitz and glamour, Pam Anderson has put on a brave face throughout many adverse life events. When she was a little girl, from ages 6 to 10, her female babysitter physically harmed her. Anderson recalled during an interview with Piers Morgan that she had hoped the woman would pass away after these awful reoccurring incidents. She further stated that the day after she wished something terrible would happen to her babysitter, the woman lost her life in a car accident. Since she was so young at the time, Pamela believed that her wish was the reason for the crash and that she must have special powers. Because of that, she experienced guilt for a long time and felt that she couldn't tell her parents what occurred between her and her babysitter. Number 11. Animal Rights Pamela Anderson isn't only a model, actress, and blonde beauty, she is also an active animal rights supporter that dedicates a significant amount of her time to the cause. She has been against the use of real fur since at least the 1990s and is a member of PETA. Her campaign against using and wearing fur won her the Linda McCartney Memorial Award in 1999. She also posed nude for PETA's 2003 I'd Rather Go Naked Than Wear Fur movement. She also stripped down in London, England in 2006 to protest on a Stella McCartney boutique window display. Pam has also spoken against Kentucky Fried Chicken and even wrote a letter to aid PETA's campaign against the company, which stated that what KFC does to 750 million chickens every year isn't civilized or acceptable. She also boycotted the Kentucky Derby in 2006 because it supports KFC. Number 10. Staying Strong Anderson isn't one to stray from her beliefs. Her thoughts on animal rights play a major role in her life, and she's done more than just protest with PETA. In 2006, she requested to speak to the then-Canadian Prime Minister, Stephen Harper, directly. Her hope was to talk about ending the annual seal hunt, but Harper refused to meet with her. However, that didn't stop Anderson from continuing her campaign. She petitioned people on the street to get their opinion on the seal hunt, and posed for another PETA ad wearing a t-shirt with a seal pup on it. In addition to her campaign against seal hunting, Pamela also joined PETA to protest against Palm, a fruit juice manufacturer, which halted animal testing due to the movement. Unfortunately, sometimes Anderson's ventures don't always work out. After posing almost naked for an ad protesting the mistreatment of chickens and cows, the Montreal government banned it. Number 9. Baywatch This star gained her fame after modeling for the cover of Playboy in 1989, but she became an actress shortly after, carving a name for herself as America's favorite beach babe. She moved to Los Angeles, California in the the early 1990s and scored a small part on the show Home Improvement. After leaving the series two seasons later, Anderson got the part of CJ Parker in Baywatch. She was on the show for five seasons from 1992 to 1997, a lot longer than most of the other cast members. In 2003, she donned a bathing suit again for Baywatch, Hawaiian Wedding. Plus, she made an appearance in the 2017 Baywatch movie. Pamela Anderson is also known for other films, including Barb Wire, Scooby-Doo, Blonde and Blonder, The People Garden, and SPF 18. Unfortunately, the only awards Anderson took home for her acting career were a Razzie Award for Worst New Star and a Sour Apple Award. But that hasn't prevented Pam from being a huge success and international icon. Don't forget to subscribe, thanks, and now back to the video. Number 8. 60 Minutes During her interview with 60 Minutes Australia, Pamela Anderson let viewers into the details of her life. She talked about her time modeling in Playboy and how she felt it was empowering to women. Many feminists believe that posing nude in a Men for Men magazine degrades females, but Anderson's opinion is that it gives women power. She noted that nobody forced her to do anything and believes feminism can go too far. Pamela further stated that she considers herself a feminist, but it can be a bore. She added that it could also paralyze men, and she thinks the Me Too movement is a bit too much. Her controversial views on the matter are open to interpretation and various opinions. However, Anderson has stated before that she doesn't want men nowadays to be afraid to make the first move regarding a romantic relationship, and she is terribly afraid of her sons being falsely accused of wronging women. Number 7. The Cure Although Pamela is the image of health nowadays, she faced a concerning problem in 2002 when she was diagnosed with hepatitis C. Anderson said she contracted the illness by sharing tattoo needles with her ex-husband Tommy Lee. About a year later, she joked during an interview with Howard Stern that she didn't expect to make it another 15 years. But Pamela was in luck because she was given a treatment for the disease. 
After living with the virus for over 15 years, she underwent a 12-week-long plan with a substance called Zivaldi. The results of the medication were amazing, and she was ultimately cured of hepatitis C after completing the regimen. Number 6. Vegan We already discussed Pamela's stance on animal rights and the mistreatment of animals, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that Anderson is vegan. But staying 100% vegan can be difficult, and Pamela admits that she's had some slip-ups, especially since she's been living in the south of France. On Good Morning Britain, she said that she considers herself a naughty vegan, but does her best to stick with it. However, being around buttery croissants and all forms of dairy in France makes it difficult to bypass now and then. But she noted that you can make a delicious vegan croissant and that she never eats meat. Number 5. Harvey Weinstein Unfortunately, this American producer is now known for the awful things he's allegedly done to several women throughout his career in a powerful position in Hollywood. He was also convicted on about four different charges that involved two women. But Pamela Anderson also had some adverse run-ins with the infamous man. During her interview with Piers Morgan, she said that Weinstein was a rude bully, who pressured her into portraying Invisible Girl in the 2008 film Superhero Movie. She noted that she originally refused the role, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. Weinstein allegedly told her, you'll never work in this town again, and made various derogatory remarks. So she felt that if she didn't take the job, he'd ruin her career. Anderson added that she was so scared that she did the film out of duress. She further stated that she was happy to see Weinstein's undoing. Pamela said that her experience with him was bad enough, and that there was already common knowledge in Hollywood that he was someone to watch out for. Her controversial opinions came into play while discussing the villainous producer. She noted that people need to be careful of false accusations. Although the year prior to her Piers Morgan interview, Anderson stated regarding Weinstein's victims that they should have known what they were getting into. However, Anderson added that she is, of course, supportive of those who have been inappropriately treated by men, but feels badly for many men at the same time. She said that since she has two young boys, she is worried about a false accusation coming from a woman and ultimately ruining their lives. Number 4. Lust for Love Not only is Pamela Anderson an actress, successful model, animal rights activist, and humanitarian, but she is also an author. Her book titled Lust for Love, Rekindling Intimacy and Passion in Your Relationship was released in May 2018 and is by her and Rabbi Shmoli Boteik. On Anderson's website for her foundation, she wrote a detailed description of the novel. She wrote that she and Boteik, despite being two contrasting people, agree completely on what they've relayed in the book. Rabbi Shmoli is a religious teacher and has experience on the subject matter from his years counseling married couples. Pamela added that there are many parts of her private life that people don't know about, despite her continuity in the public eye. She said that she was surprised that a religious teacher would have insight into the importance of intimacy in a romantic relationship, and that there are scriptures discussing sensuality and marriage as well. Anderson in Smoley's book talks about how human intimacy has been lost and distorted through technology, and they hope that their lust for love can help people rediscover it. Number 3. Tommy Lee Another publicized relationship of Pamela's was her marriage to Tommy Lee, Molly Crew's drummer. They had only known each other for about four days before deciding to tie the knot, so it might not be too surprising that the union didn't end up as planned. Their ceremony was on the beach, and Pamela fittingly wore a swimsuit for the occasion. Shortly following their marriage, an intimate tape from their honeymoon was leaked online. Although Anderson gave birth to their first son, Brandon, in 1996, she filed for divorce as she and Lee had been facing issues in their personal lives. However, the next year, they rekindled their romance and had a second child named Dylan. The addition of a second baby to an already rocky relationship only made things worse for the duo. Tommy later admitted that he'd been jealous of the attention Anderson was appropriately and obviously giving her children. But that wasn't the only issue that tore them apart. In 1998, Pamela and Lee got into a physical alter at their home, and he grabbed and kicked her. After being arrested by the police, he served half a year in jail. Unsurprisingly, they got divorced again in 1998. But as with any complicated relationship, they couldn't quite give each other up and had an on-again, off-again romance for years. Even now, Pamela and Tommy deal with problems. In March 2018, their son Brandon hit Lee in the face after he insulted Anderson. Number 2. Vladimir Putin Someone people might not expect Pamela to be involved with is the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. During her 60 Minutes Australia interview, she added that although she doesn't necessarily support his ideals, he has done a lot for her. She wrote the leader a letter in 2015 that personally asked him to halt the progression of a cargo ship called Winter Bay, which contained more than 1,700 tons of meat from fin whales, making its way to Japan via the Northeast Passage. But this wasn't the first time Anderson has asked for Putin's assistance. In 2009, he banned the hunting of baby harp seals for Pamela, and she wrote a letter to thank him. She even traveled to Russia in 2015 to speak about endangered species and environmental problems at the Eastern Economic Forum. Pamela also met with Kremlin officials 
official to discuss animal rights in Russia that same year. In 2016, she met with them again to talk about animal conservation and welfare. Number 1. Julian Assange For those who don't know, Julian Assange is an Australian-born computer programmer, journalist, and the founder of WikiLeaks. Pamela and Julian's relationship has been under speculation for some time now, and she spoke a little more about it during her 60 Minutes Australia interview. She said she was fascinated with him and wanted to meet with him to discuss how she could be a better activist. Contrary to what many people believe about WikiLeaks, Pamela thinks he is doing noteworthy work that should be applauded. Assange was stuck at the Ecuadorian embassy in London to avoid being arrested from 2012 to April 2019 when he was taken out of the embassy to Belmarsh Prison. But before his arrest, Pamela had tried to get the Australian government to help Julian. She said that he's fighting the powers that be, and it's not surprising that officials want to keep him quiet. There were also rumors that she and Assange had a romantic relationship, but she denied them. Plus, Pamela has been involved with the French soccer player, Adil Rami, since 2017. Today's feature comment comes from Keith on our What You Didn't Know About the Game of Thrones Actors video. Thanks for your thoughts, Keith. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below, and we might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.